Asia is home to many unbelievable wonders, and with the help of archaeology and science, many of these marvels in the vast continent are fully understood. It's given us invaluable insight into the history and the lives of ancient civilizations that thrive there. Visitors can also feed the animals from the safety of special cars that have been reinforced with double air fencing or armored glass. However, there are a few that haven't yet given up their secrets. Will these secrets be revealed or forever concealed? Maybe, maybe not. But amazing things keep turning up, and we wouldn't have it any other way. 15 Unsettling Discoveries in Asia Nobody Can Explain, Part 2. <laughs> Number 15. Ancient Mummy. This mummy was discovered incredibly by chance. The corpse of the high-ranking woman believed to be from the Ming Dynasty, the ruling power in China between 1368 and 1644, was stumbled across by a team who were looking to expand a street. What are the chances of that? Pretty good, it turns out. Between 1979 and 2008, five mummies were found in this area, all in very good condition. And there it was. The 700-year-old mummy was found in a city in eastern China in excellent condition by road construction workers. So archaeologists from a nearby museum were called in to excavate the area. Discovered six feet below the road surface, the woman's features, from her head to her shoes, have retained their original condition and have hardly deteriorated preserved in a brown liquid, and when this coffin was opened, the right hand of the 700-year-old mummy showed her preserved skin and a ring. The mummy was wearing a traditional Ming Dynasty costume, and also in the coffin were bones, ceramics, ancient writings, and other relics. Experts were surprised by the remarkably good condition of the woman's skin, hair, eyelashes, and face. It was as though she had only recently died. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Mystery Ooze As you can see, this street in Nanjing in eastern China cracked open and it just started to spill out a mystery ooze. The foam, which some described as marshmallow-like, spread to a radius of over 100 feet in the middle of the road and released a smell that could only be described as putrid. Naturally, a crowd gathered and had everyone asking, what is this stuff? And it took even less time for pics and videos of the mystery ooze to go viral. Even late-night talk show hosts in America weighed in on the mess. Things may be bad, but at least our streets don't burp mystery goo. One satirist jested in the comedy show, joking about the ooze. But the truth is that it could happen anywhere. There's a sewer. A number of toxic chemicals blending together in these elaborate sanitation systems could have created this mess easily. So city authorities didn't have definitive answers either of what the substance was or where it came from but they said it was caused by subway construction underground. The area was sectioned off and the ooze was washed into the sewers. What was left eventually receded back into the crack after firefighters arrived and finished the job. Number 13. China's Cave People This cave is 750 feet long, 377 feet wide, and 160 feet high, comparable in size to over one and a half soccer fields. And as you can see, it's occupied. Zong Cave is high in the hills of southwestern China and too far from Hong Kong, and 20-plus families of the Miao ethnic minority live in the cave, growing corn on the mountain and raising chickens, pigs, and cows. Not only that, this community does so at a staggering 5,900 feet in elevation. It's only accessible on foot after over an hour's hike. The village's houses have woven bamboo walls and are unique for having no roofs, relying on the cave's natural shelter. The village relies on wood-fired hearths for heat and cooking, but electrical service was set up in the last decade, powering lights and a small number of appliances, such as television sets and washing machines. The village has one primary school with six classes and 200 students, many of whom are boarders from other local villages. But it goes without saying that it's possibly the only cave school in the world. Despite having electricity, life in the village is very cut off with the nearest town some three hours away. However, local tourism authorities set up a cable car that's free for the cave's residents. Number 12. Zipline Villages The mountain village of Lazimi in southwest China is cut off by the 1749-mile-long New River and is not equipped with proper roads and bridges. 
Plus, it's also too dangerous to cross the river by boat due to its strong currents. So for the mountain dwellers of this village, risking their lives and ziplining over a raging river have become a part of their daily commute. Most villagers, who are members of the Lisu ethnic group and are deeply religious, also zip across the river every Sunday for mass services at nearby churches, making the perilous zipline ride literally the only option for locals. The nearest bridge over the river is 12 miles away from the mountainside village. The new river, whose name means Raging River in Chinese, earned its name from the violent rapids and jagged rocks lurking in its hidden depths and video footage of its hair-raising journey shows villagers zipping across the river, with the water foaming white as it powers down the narrow valley. The villagers have even applied their own ingenuity in building the zip lines, and climbed downhill and relying mostly on gravity to cross the new. An estimated 20 to 30 hamlets in the region still rely on the zip lines as their primary means across the river. Number 11. Human Zoo at this zoo in China's Chongqing City, they've put a spin on the usual experience. People pay to be locked in cages, while hungry lions and tigers roam free around them. Visitors are apparently forking over their cash just to be caged in the back of a truck as it ambles around the park. The service has proved to be hugely popular, and tickets sell out months in advance. To make the experience more exciting, huge chunks of fresh meat are tied to the outside of a vehicle which drives through the enclosure. This attracts the predators and gives tourists the closest possible dining experience with them without becoming dinner themselves. The thrilling experience is meant to show visitors what it's like to come face to face with predators instead of just viewing them from a safe distance. Standing inside a wire mesh cage, the visitors are able to offer food to lions and tigers through a small opening too and watch as the massive cats leap onto the vehicle to be fed. The guests are warned to keep their fingers and hands inside the cage at all times because a hungry tiger wouldn't know the difference between them and breakfast. The zoo is one of a few in the world which has installed a moving cage to bring spectators as close as possible to big cats and bears in an open habitat. Number 10. Corpse Hotel In a quiet residential street in Kawasaki City in Japan, a refurbished workshop with a plain silver exterior and black draped windows has some residents describing it as creepy. The business inside is one of Japan's so-called corpse hotels, a camouflaged morgue used to store bodies waiting for a spot in one of the nation's crematoriums. At a daily rate of only $82, family members can keep their deceased relative in one of the rooms for up to four days until a crematorium can be found. As Japan ages, its people are dying off at a faster pace. About 20,000 more people per year are expiring with the death rate expected to peak at about 1.7 million a year by around 2040, according to government estimates. On top of that, crematoriums need to be built, but there isn't any space to do so, and that's creating what people in the burial biz called funeral refugees. So perhaps these corpse hotels are a reliable solution in the short term. Residents of Kawasaki are unhappy about living next to those hidden corpse refugees, but placards and flags dotting the neighborhood expressing outrage at the presence of the morgue are very present. But customers, however, are grateful for a place to keep their deceased relatives, and there are plans to bring corpse hotels to other cities. Number 9. Deadly Tourist Trap Panmunjom is a small village that lies at the border between North and South Korea. The truce that ended hostilities between these two countries was signed here in 1953, but as peace was never agreed to, the two sides are still officially at war years later. This strip of land separating the Koreas is the most heavily armed region in the world. In fact, about a million men stand guard around what's called the demilitarized zone, but this village is located in the most sensitive area of Korea's demilitarized zone. It's the only tourist destination where visitors are required to sign a release that asks them to accept responsibility for injury or death as a direct result of enemy action. Landmines, barbed wire, and tank stoppers line the entire border. East of the village is a shared security area and is jointly policed by the South and North. Most of the time, the soldiers just glare at each other across the border. It's a dangerous place, but it's also a huge tourist draw. Every year, thousands of tourists visit the village, but tourists are warned not to make eye contact or gestures of any kind that might antagonize the guards and to follow a strict dress code. Blue jeans, shorts, or suggestive clothes are not allowed. Number 8. Million-Year-Old Car Tracks 
A researcher has claimed that these mysterious and ancient ruts which crisscross a valley in Turkey were caused by an unknown and intelligent race between 12 and 14 million years ago. The tracks cut across the landscape dating back to various historical periods. As time went on, paths were cut deeply into the soft rock. They eventually became part of the Roman road network. The scientists noted that the distance between each pair of tracks remained consistent and that the measurement fits between the wheels of modern vehicles. However, the tracks are much too deep for today's cars, raising more questions about what sort of transport device was being used. And geologists agree that the ruts are prehistoric without a doubt. The deepest ruts are three feet, and on the walls of these ruts are horizontal scratches, very much appearing to have been left by the ends of axles poking out of ancient wheels. Experts have examined the rocky fields interlaced with deep grooves and have suggested that it was indeed vehicles that caused the tracks, unknown all-terrain vehicles, and rumor has it that we're not talking about human beings. Explanations as to the origin range from transport carts to speculation about ancient alien vehicles. Number 7. Earthquake Ghost Town In 2008, this place was one of the areas hardest hit by an earthquake that killed more than 50,000 people. The quake destroyed most of the buildings in the city, and those left standing were deemed unsafe for human habitation. The town was more or less abandoned. After the earthquake shattered the town, the government was faced with the insurmountable task of cleaning up the place and providing shelter to those displaced. With more than 80% of the buildings in Baichuan leveled to the ground, this was proving to be a logistical challenge. The condition was further aggravated by landslides that buried the town under several stories worth of mud. Finally, it was decided that it would never be rebuilt or even excavated, but would remain in its current state as a memorial. So authorities decided to stabilize and preserve the ruins as part of the earthquake museum. Today, it appears frozen in time, its crumbling buildings preserved almost exactly as they fell. In this giant open-air memorial, visitors can witness firsthand the devastation brought upon this mountainous corner of southwest China. The memorial represents one of the only cases of preserving the ruins of a modern city that's been struck by an earthquake. Number 6. The Mysterious Mountain Palace it might be hard to believe, but this Middle Eastern-styled palace as it stands today was actually built relatively recently. It was built in the 1930s by a spiritual leader on top of a pre-existing structure that was built in the 1700s. The rooms are built up the side of a tall rock spire, culminating in a grand tower at its pinnacle, and it was intended to be the leader's summer home. While it might not be the fairy tale style construction that most of us consider when we think of a castle, Yemen's Dar al Halar Palace is nonetheless fantastical. This iconic palace still stands and it's become a popular example of local architecture. While it's still no longer used as a royal residence, the palace has been refitted as a museum and can be toured for a fee. Visitors can range about through the kitchens, storage rooms, and appointment rooms connected by a small labyrinth of stairways leading through the five-story structure. But as impressive as it is to explore inside, it's the view from the exterior that really makes this palace one of a kind. Combined with the natural rock on which it's built, it truly looks straight out of a fantasy novel. The five floors offer enough to see, but walking around as its space is equally impressive and heightens your admiration for the stunning architecture. Number 5. Train Station in the Middle of Nowhere as populations in China swell, it's understandable that the government struggles to take care of the required infrastructure. But this is a little odd. It may look like it's been built on wasteland and may very well look abandoned, but it's actually a fully operational subway stop. The station's three exits, only one of them in use now, are all hidden among overgrown weeds on barren land. But once inside the entrance, passengers are treated to a stunning new lobby. Yet, the station doesn't even hook up with any highways or different modes of public transportation. And because of that, anybody getting off at this stop must be shuttled to their next destination. It's slightly baffling while the surroundings of the station haven't been developed, especially as the subway was painstakingly planned by transport experts in advance. But either way, as well as being useful for a few commuters, it's become a destination point for locals, intrigued by the apocalyptic-inspired site. Authorities defend their choice to construct the subway to nowhere as an indication of a long-term planning. It might not be the most popular area for now, but with the development of the rail route, it's possible that it'll attract more people to the area. Number 4. The Skeleton Lake 16,500 feet above sea level, nestled high in India's Himalayas at the base of the three mountain peaks is a place known as Skeleton Lake. It's named this for a good reason. 
The lake and surrounding slopes are strewn with hundreds of human bones. Its official name is Rupkund Lake, only 130 feet wide and 8 feet deep. Depending on the season and weather, only when the snow melts for a few months in summer are the skeletons visible. The lake's unsettling secret was first chanced upon by a forest ranger in 1942. He initially thought the skeletons belonged to fallen soldiers, but a closer inspection proved the bones to be much older. Most were well preserved, some with flesh and hair still attached. So in 2004, a team traveled here and retrieved some of the skeletons. Geneticists conducted DNA tests concluding that the skeletons were up to 1,200 years old. The study may have shed a little light on what happened, but the mystery was far from solved. The current best guess for what happened to most of the dead in this area was that they were caught on the ridge above the lake in a horrendous storm, some of which may have included deadly hail. Most of the victims likely died of exposure in hypothermia. Number 3. Evaporated People Johatsu, Japanese for evaporation, refers to people who purposely vanish from their established lives without a trace. We all need a little alone time, but these folks take it to a whole new level. When they disappear, they can abandon their former residences, jobs, families, names, and even change their appearance. And it's been estimated that 100,000 people in Japan disappear annually. People do this for a number of reasons, including mental health issues, addiction, criminal misconduct, and even a desire for isolation. In other situations, it's used to escape domestic violence, debt, and difficult family situations like marriage problems. It's also been theorized that Japan's harsh work culture in combination with the lack of familial and community support has contributed to the evaporated phenomenon. Japan was historically a nation that preferred honor and death over shame and disgrace, and many still hold on to this ideal. In the modern era, disappearing without a trace seems like an easier, more accessible alternative. Another factor that tempts people into vanishing is that they know they could survive. The country's thriving shadow economy makes it possible to disappear and to find work under the table without any identification or paper trails. Number 2. Tattoo Fish When photos of this large fish caught in the Philippines covered with tattoos hit the web, people lost their minds. They were soon picked up by news networks around the globe and the tattoo fish eventually went viral. The fish was caught by fishermen on a typical day at sea. Once they hauled it up, they immediately noticed that much of its skin was marked by designs, a crest made up of a crown sitting on top of a shield, some letters, and intertwining plant leaves. And once back on shore, it attracted passersby as well who were quick to snap some photos of the fish. And of course, it sparked quite a debate on social media, with people offering the most outrageous explanations for the intricate design. Thousands of people commented on the photos were more than willing to voice their opinions. Perhaps the most rational explanation for the fish tattoo was that it was probably caused by some sort of trash or fabric that had been embedded in the fish's skin and over time imprinted this design onto it. One thing is certain, the unusual tattoo on the fish is of human origin, but how it ended up on a wild fish is still a mystery. But in our humble opinion, it's a great looking tattoo, even if it's on a fish. Number 1. Outrageous Temple Check out this historic Hindu temple located in Madurai, India. Also known as the Taj Mahal of the South, the Minkashi Temple is grand, both in terms of its religious and historical significance and its grand architecture. It's also one of India's most visited temples and a must-visit spot in South India. This sacred site draws in upwards of 1 million visitors each year for a 10-day festival to celebrate the marriage of the Hindu goddess Parvati to the Hindu god Shiva a divine marriage believed by Hindus to be the biggest event on earth. According to devotees, it was originally built 2,500 years ago by survivors of the lost continent of Kumari Kandam, a mythological triangle-shaped continent that was said to span the Indian Ocean, touching Australia, Madagascar, and India. But that's all mythology. In fact, the temple was built by settlers from southeastern India, and it first appeared in recorded history in the 600s AD, in the early 1300s, the sacred structure was ransacked and destroyed. It wasn't until nearly 250 years later, in 1559, that the structure was rebuilt by the first king of Madurai, and it remains standing today, the tallest tower reaching 170 feet high. The historic temple was even nominated for the new seven wonders of the world. There you have it. As unsettling as some of these discoveries are, we have to admit that they're all still pretty awesome. So since we know you want more great videos, like and subscribe and share this with your friends and family.